Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss the differences between the iterative methods. We have known mainly the five iterative methods for finding the lead finding techniques. First is dissection, second is false position, third is Newton Raphson, fourth is second, five is successive approximation. We know that the iterative formula for all the five methods are different. For bisection, it is xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus xi minus 1 divided by 2, where xi and xi minus 1 encloses the root. For, for, meth for false position method, also known as regular falsy method, xi plus 1 is equal to xi minus 1 into fi minus xi into fi minus 1 divided by fi minus fi minus 1 where xi and xi minus 1 encloses the root c method in bisection. For newton raphson method, the xi plus 1 is equal to xi minus fxi divided by f dash xi. For secant method, xi plus 1 is equal to xi minus 1 f minus xi fi minus 1 divided by fi minus fi minus 1, where xi and xi minus 1 encloses the root. And for the successive approximation method, xi is equal to g of xi minus 1, where g is an appropriate function of x. Uh, we, have, we see the order of convergence for all the five methods can be derived. For bisection, it is gain of one bit per iteration. For false position and successive approximation, it is 1. For secant method, it is 1.62 and it is highest for newton raphson method is 2. Evaluation of function per iteration. For all the methods except the newton raphson method, it is 1. And for newton raphson method, it is 2, which is very good. Reliability of convergence, as we see here, by the order of convergence, newton raphson has the highest order, so it converges faster t fastest near 2 near the root where uh, the secant method comes next but there is no guarantee of secant method that it will converge towards the root always while for bisection false position it is guaranteed and for a pro successive approximation method there is no guarantee it may converge or it may not converge depending on the whether what gx you choose Thank you.